All right, now this is the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, a brilliant tablet from Samsung. And this is how it looked when I took it out of the box and turned it on. And later I spent a few minutes to transform this tablet to look like this. A colorful Samsung keyboard, a cool looking notification panel, a beautiful gradient volume panel, and this lock screen. This is a functional lock screen for quick access to what I need. Increased number of grids on the lock screen as well as home screen and a vivid looking colorful screen here. Now, if you want to transform your tablet to something like this, then you should watch this complete video. I would share step-by-step -step guide to transform your boring looking tablet to a beautiful looking one like this. So let's dive right into the video. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is this beautiful looking wallpaper. I have left a link for this in the description and if you want to find something like this, you can download an application called Wallbyte. On this application, you can see some beautiful looking home screen wallpapers for your phone as well as for your desktop or tablets. When I tap on desktop here, you can see these are some nice looking crisp and clear high definition wallpapers. You can set these up on your tablet which look fantastic. So that is the first thing you can do when you buy your new tablet. Now this AMOLED screen is beautiful but you can still further tweak it to make it look more colorful and vibrant. To do that all you need to do is just go to the settings here, tap on display. Now here you will see screen mode. Just tap on this. You can choose either vivid or natural and if you have selected vivid you've got some advanced settings here just tap on that and you can see here you can increase the vividness of the screen i set it to the center here if you want more vividness you can increase it and if you don't want those colors popping out you can just reduce it to the minimum vividness here now i prefer setting it to the center here because i want that uh, vividness on the screen but not so vivid not so colorful that it is going to cause some distress to the eyes and if you want to change the white balance you can do that using these uh, sliders here so these are some customization options we have got for the colorful looking amulet screen here so we change the wallpaper we change the vividness of the screen now let's go ahead let me show you how you can increase the grid size here more than the default grid size now by default when you press and hold on the home screen and tap on settings here you see we have got home screen grid and app screen grid now when i tap on this the default screen grid will be limited and you will have a lot of gap between these icons and it actually doesn't look that great so for this what you need is a good lock module called home up now most of the customization i have done is using the good lock application now this application may or may not be available in your country or may not be available in your device as long as good lock is available you can do these customizations now let me tap on home up module here let me turn this on we have got home screen settings here i'll tap on this this is where we change the home screen grid now you see i can go all the way up to a 12 by 12 let me just apply this and show you guys you can see I just changed the home screen grid. All these icons have become too small and it doesn't look that great. So let's not keep it to 12 by 12. I usually keep it to 8 by 6, which looks pretty cool. Let me show you this. I'll set it to 8 by 6. Tap on apply. Now this is how the icons look on the home screen. Likewise, I have set the app screen grid also to 8 by 6. You see this is the 8 by 6 app screen grid. You can change it to 8 by 6 to make it look elegant, fit in enough number of applications on one page and keep the icon sizes as it is. Now just in case if you want to change the icon size as well, then you can just tap on this icon uh, app icon settings here. I will enable this. Now you can see if you want to increase the icon size, you can further increase it to 120%, which is going to look much better. Now I have increased this. Let's see how it looks. You see, we have got bigger icons. Now if you increase the grid here, it might look a little better. Let's increase the grid again. Let's see how it looks. Let's go back here. App screen grid. I will increase it to 9 by 7. Yeah, you can fit in more icons here. I can bring in all these icons to just one page. Let me do that here. I'll tap on this uh, three dot button, clean up pages. As you can see, all the icons are sitting on one single page, which is fantastic. All you need to do is increase the icon size to 120% and change the grid to nine by seven. And likewise, you can do this on the home screen as well. Let's do it on the home screen now. I'll increase it to nine by seven. Already the icon sizes have been increased and this is how it will look on the home screen. You see, we can fit in more icons without losing the icon size and accommodating more icons on a one single page. That is how we customize the grid sizes on your Samsung Galaxy tablet. Next, the quick panel. 
Now, as you can see, this quick panel just looks beautiful. It has got these orange accents like it is there on this home screen wallpaper. And uh, we have got this background completely transparent. The entire screen is transparent here. And we have got these text in white color and these toggles in black. And we have got the orange background and the brightness bar is also in orange, which looks fantastic. Now you can customize the way you want. All you need is again a good lock module called theme park or you can customize this on the quick star as well which is again associated with this theme park engine. Now here you can create a brand new theme just tap on create new. It will select the default wallpaper tap on next and this is where we customize all different elements on the system. Now since we are focusing on the quick panel let me tap on the quick panel here. Now here you can see all the items on the quick panels are marked in circles and we can change the colors on each of these items. Now let me show you how exactly I have done this. The first thing you need to do is reduce the blur level here. I'll reduce it to uh, zero or if you want to increase it somewhere in the middle you can do that as well. Now each element's color can be changed here. I'll change this to black, increase the saturation, select black color and I'll change this color to orange. Tap on OK. Now the brightness bar also let's change it to orange. OK. Now here the text is already in white. Let's keep it to white. Uh, now I will change the background of this text to again transparent. I'll reduce the saturation and transparency level and I'll tap on OK. As you can see the text is in white on a completely transparent background. Once this is done just go back and tap on download and save it. Now this quick panel has been created. If you want to customize anything else here, you can do that and then just tap on download and save this. I'll just overwrite this since it was already existing. Now this quick panel has been saved. Now you can see when I open the quick panel, it is completely transparent panel that we have got. This is how we create this beautiful looking quick panel on your tablet. All right, now let's go ahead and customize this beautiful looking keyboard and let's see how to apply these effects. For this, you need a good luck module called Keys Cafe. We have got Keys Cafe here. Let me tap on this. Now, this is a very powerful module on good luck, which enables us to customize the keyboard. We can apply effects to it. We can change the keyboard, uh, the key sizes. We can customize them the way we want. It will take a long time to explain all the features on this particular module. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to style your own keyboard, only the second option. Maybe I'll make some uh, more videos about the rest of it in the future. So if you want to know more about these features, if you want to know more about your Galaxy phones, Galaxy tablets, Galaxy watches, be sure to become a part of the Apex community. Tap on the subscribe button. I'll keep you posted on all the tips and tricks, the updates and the features on your tablets, Galaxy phones or any other Android phone. Now let's go ahead. Let me tap on style your own keyboard. Let me tap on plus button to create a new keyboard here. Again, here we have got all these circles depicting each element or each item on the keyboard. Now the background is already in black. The only change I have done is I changed this uh, text color to orange and tapped on OK. Now this text color is in orange. Uh, since I have got this wallpaper with the orange accents, I prefer to have orange here. If you want to change it, you can do that. You can change the colors of each and every elements here. You can even set a picture here. As you can see, you can select the same picture that we have on the home screen wallpaper, but uh, I don't prefer doing that. Let me just remove this image. This is the black keyboard we have got with orange accents. Now what I'll do is I will just save this one. I'll rename this, tap on OK. Now this has been saved. Now for this keyboard, let's apply some effects. The FX tab is right here, tap on FX. You've got keyboard color effect. We can change key color effect and we can change key motion effect. Now I have left it as it is and I have just saved it. So this is how the keyboard looks. When I tap on this, it gets this beautiful uh, color splash background, which is just amazing. As you can see here, when you tap on it, you can even see the background of the keys clearly with some color effect on the background. That is how we customize this beautiful looking keyboard. Let me know what do you think about this. Now let's talk about this beautiful volume panel here. Let me just unlock the phone and show you the volume panel that I've got. You can see this is a dynamic colorful gradient volume panel I've got. As you can see all these uh, bars are in dynamic gradient color and they all look just beautiful. Now to customize this all you need is a good lock module again called the sound assistant. Let me open good lock here. I will tap on sound assistant module to open it. Here it is. We've got sound assistant. Let me tap on this. Now this works in portrait mode for some reason. It doesn't support the landscape mode. Let me just keep the tablet in portrait mode now. We've got loads of settings or features or options here. We are going to focus on the second option. Make your own volume panel color. I'll tap on this. 
Now you can see we've got some beautiful looking uh, volume panel colors here. We've got lighting effects, we've got textures, control types, and based on shapes, we have got these volume panels. You can select the one you want. I have selected this particular one here and the texture I've selected is mesh. If you want acrylic, you can select that. And uh, if you want to select a control type, you can select bar or knob. If you select knob, let me just show you how it looks. This is the knob here, which looks pretty cool. You can just uh, swipe on this knob to increase or decrease the volume. You can just swipe towards the right or left as well, which is pretty cool, but I would prefer keeping the control type as bar. So that is what I've set here. Now, apart from colorizing your volume panel, there are loads of settings on this particular module, the sound assistant. Again, I cannot explain everything here in this video. I will make a separate video for this. Now let's go back to the portrait mode here. Now let me share the next tip for you guys. We've got one hand operation plus application using which we can set various different functions for swipe gestures. Let me show you that. Let's go to the one hand operation plus application here. This app is again from Samsung. We can set various different functions for the right handle or left handle. Let me tap on right handle here. Now here we've got straight left, diagonal up, diagonal down. For the diagonal down, I have selected rotate right. So what this means is when I swipe diagonally down from the right edge of the screen, the screen will, the screen's orientation will change to portrait. And when I do that again from the right side, it will get back to the landscape mode. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Likewise, I have selected uh, quick tools for diagonal up. I selected quick tools. Now, when I swipe up from the right side, it opens the quick tools here, which is just brilliant. We've got so many options here. We can set different functions for all these options. We've got move screen, widget pop-up, task switcher, virtual touchpad, floating navigation bars keyboard shortcuts, quick launcher, and there are so many of them here. You can do, you can set any function you want to quickly access it using one hand. The purpose of this application is to use the tablet in just one hand or use the phone in just one hand, execute function without using your other hand. Using the basic swipe gestures, you can execute various different functions. You can set it to right handle as well as left handle, diagonal up, diagonal down, long swipe, short swipe, anything you want, you can set. That's a very, very powerful module available for uh, the tablets as well as Galaxy phones do go ahead and customize your phone using this now you can see here this lock screen is pretty cool we got some quick access for the applications here let's say i want to directly go to the settings i can just tap on settings and unlock the device it will directly take me to settings and uh, let's say if i want to go to gallery directly i can tap on this and directly access the gallery or let's say you want to access youtube directly here you can just tap on that and directly go to youtube when you unlock the tablet that is some quick access we have got for the applications. Then we have got the notification panel. And uh, on the left hand side, you can see I have set three different widgets here. One is a reminder widget with all the reminders available here. And you can also uh, move it around. You can swipe up or swipe down to see more reminders. Then we have got this Samsung health widget, which shows me my steps and uh, calories burnt and other information. And we also have YouTube music widget right here on the lock screen. Now, if you want to do these customizations, you need a good lock module called Lockstar. Let me just show you Lockstar module here. Let's go to Good Lock. You can see here we've got Lockstar. Let me open this. Now here you can see I've already customized the lock screen. I can just tap on this to further customize it. And here you can just tap on this again to see this option here at the bottom. You're not seeing any uh, option to add widgets because I've already added the maximum number of widgets. It is letting me to add about four widgets on the lock screen apart from the clock widget and the notification widget. Now let me just uh, demonstrate this to you. I will just remove this particular widget here. Now let me tap on this again. Now you see we've got add widget option right here. When I tap on add widget, you get all the widgets associated with all these system applications and third party applications. Now let me select the same Samsung health widget here. I'll tap on this particular one. I'll tap on add it and it is showing me some settings here. Tap on save and it is sitting right here. Just drag this around. I'll place it in the same position here and customize the size and make it look uh, better. I'll just align this properly for on the widgets which are available at the bottom. Once that is done, you can just tap on save. Now we have got this widget on the lock screen and this is how the lock screen would look when you customize it. And this is a smart suggestion widget that we have got. I have set that up as well. Uh, again, you can go to the same uh, module, tap on this. Let me just show you how to add this smart suggestion widget. I'll tap on this again, add widget. Uh, let me scroll all the way down. We have smart suggestion right here. I will select this, add it and uh, tap on save. It is sitting right here. Just drag it again here to the bottom. Align this properly, set it in the right position and you're done. Just tap on save. We've got all these widgets right here on the lock screen. 
Now, just go to the lock screen here again. You see, we have got the smart suggestion widget right here. This is how we customize the lock screen for quicker access to the recently used applications. Have all the reminders right there on the lock screen and a couple of more widgets. This is gonna be very, very useful. I think you guys should go ahead and try this out. Now, this is how we can customize and transform your Samsung Galaxy tablets, any tablet for that matter. As long as good lock is available on your tablet, you can customize it. May it be Galaxy Tab S7, S8, S9, S10 series, or FE series, you can customize all of them. I think even the A series supports good lock. Go ahead, check this out and transform your tablet and make it look beautiful. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this customization. If you have any more suggestions, drop a comment and let me know. We can discuss in the comment section. While you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.